Hi, it's Oink. I just downloaded Virus Desktop Wallet and I want to verify it. Uh, however, I don't have Virus Desktop uh, running right now in native mode, so I cannot use my desktop wallet to verify. Uh, luckily, there's a new option on our website. What I'll need to do, this is my downloaded file. I'll need to enter it or I need to extract these files. Um, simply go to copy them, go back up and put them into my temp folder. Right, and now I got two new files. I've got an executable Windows Desktop installer and a signature file, which is actually a text file as you can see down here. Okay, if I open a text file, uh, I do have uh, a hash, a signature, and a signer. Now that's uh, something I'm going to need on the website. Uh, I already opened up the website, and in order to verify signatures, I have to go to resources and verify signatures. And I want to check a file. Okay, I can drop it there, or I can browse for it. If you click, you get the browse window. And if you're lazy like me, you can simply drop it there. Okay, it's now, it just created the hash for the file. And that's the first thing we can check because that hash in here should be exactly the same. Oops, I don't want to do that. Should be exactly the same as this hash. And I'm not going to check that by hand. 307. Create and the last figures F75. It looks like the same, but I'm not going to rely on my uh, me eyeing it. That's not a way to check things. I'm going to copy the signer ID and I'm going to paste that into the website. Uh, although I already have it there, I always sign it, uh, put it back in. Let me, let me check what I mean. If I click it, uh, my browser shows me uh, what I used before. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure I use the one from a file. And that's always going to be for uh, the wallets, Virus Coin Foundation releases at. And finally, it says I need a signature. So I'm going to copy the signature. I'm going to make it a bit bigger for that. That is a signature and pasting. If you wonder why I don't use Ctrl C and Ctrl V, uh, I try that. It will go too fast if you do it that way. Okay, I've got all the data in. And what I can do now is submit. It is processing and it says it is valid. In other words, this executable Virus Desktop is safe to install because it is released by the Virus Coin Foundation releases and it has not been tampered with. Thanks for your attention. I hope to see you all again soon and have a nice day. Bye bye.